UC Irvine has over 300 clubs here on our campus, catering to all sorts of student interests. One of them are student motorcyclists. Motorcycle Club at UCI is reported by Alexander Chu with the help of Motorcycle Club President Albert Liu, and they will be telling us about this interesting and unique club here on campus. My name's Albert, I'm the president of the Motorcycle Club at UCI, and I ride at the Mitchell 99 Young Rock V-Star Classic. The purpose of the club is to bring together riders from all different types of backgrounds, majors, and levels in the school to uh, talk about their passion and their passion and their journey to uh, learn, uh, learn about motorcycles and riding. We, are, we, we have meetings every other week. We have group rides on the weekends and uh, we just hang out together, booth and everything. Uh, on February 27th, there will be the imports at UCI Car Show. And uh, we'll be rolling up with our bikes and display. UCLA's club will come down, we'll meet with them. We'll have Osimoto out there, another rider organization. So it'll be a big party. Lots of cars, lots of bikes. If anyone wants to talk to me, you can contact me at my email at alu number one at uci.edu. Go ahead and search us. Thanks guys. Now, winter quarter is a unique portion of our school year because it's a time where we think about our New Year's resolutions and we remember the fond memories of 2009, especially all the movies we watched that year. ZNN reporter Zahar Johani asked students at UC Irvine what their favorite movies of 2009 were and the reaction to the Golden Globe winners. Let's check it out. 2009 has been a pivotal year for cinema, from technologically advanced films like Avatar to emotionally gripping narratives such as Precious, 2009 had it all. We asked UCI students what they thought of this year's blockbusters. So, in your opinion, what was the best slash worst movie of 2009? New Moon. I think that's the worst. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Definitely. The best movie in 2009 was probably... Uh, Definitely. Okay. Oh. Uh, uh, best movie I think was uh, Lord's Bastards. From what my friends tell me, Avatar is probably the best movie of the year. Yeah. Yeah. I'll watch it eventually. I mean, the storyline is not that great, but just the, the, like I said, the graphics and the cinematography. Did you watch Avatar? Oh, uh, yes, I did. In 3D? Uh, no, actually, regular. <laughs> yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, it was a very good story. Um, I thought the animation was pretty cool and how like everything was like very lively. And it was a very new perspective. What was the worst movie of 2009? Oh, that one movie. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. The, the third kind. Okay. Oh, the third kind? I thought that lady who played Anne was very creepy, and she was actually stuck on my mind for like two weeks, oh. and it gave me the creepers. With the Golden Globe results recently revealed, we asked students what they thought of the winners. Yeah, so for the best picture comedy or musical, it's 500 Days of Summer, The Hangover, It's Complicated, Julia and Julia, and Nine. And actually The Hangover won, which was a big surprise because it's kind of like a chick flick version of a guy in movie. I'm actually not surprised that The Hangover won. It's my favorite movie of 2009. Really? Yeah, okay. Right after 500 Days of Summer. Um, and what are, movies are you guys looking forward to in well, well, Book of Eli Carrie came out, and I think we're planning to watch that soon. <laughs> um, there's this movie, I think it's called When It Rolled, and the, uh, the trailer was, was pretty good. Oh, I want to see The Lovely Bones. I mean, it's out in theaters right now, but I, ha I, have, like, I don't have a lot of time to watch movies, but that's the movie that I really want to see. And for all of you movie buffs out there, check out Roger Ebert's Best Movies of the Decade. Topping the list at number one is Charlie Kaufman's Synecdoche, New York, followed by The Hurt Locker, the film Monster starring Charlize Theron, Juno, and finally 2005 Sundance winner Me, You, and Everyone We Know. This is Sahar Jahani reporting for the Zot News Network. Thanks, Sahar. Two UC Irvine students are working rigorously on their Omega-3 Awareness Day, which will be happening in March on the UC Irvine campus. 
Camille Mendez along with cameraman Tang Lee report on this unique and important event. Hi, this is Camille Mendez and I'm here with Tani who will tell us about UCI's first annual Omega-3 celebration. Can you tell us more about this? Yes, um, we are planning the first annual Omega-3 Awareness Day which will be held on March 3rd for Omega-3. Um, basically what we are planning is a music benefit um, to get people to come out and then um, we will be having speakers between the performances, educational pamphlets, um, educational activities, just a lot of fun, a lot of information, and hopefully a lot of people. What many people don't realize is that Omega-3 is in actually a lot of products that many people don't know about that they eat every day. So, Let's look around in Zot and Go to see what contains omega-3. Omega-3s are actually found in a lot of things that we eat every day, such as nuts, fish products, um, certain egg products, cereals. It's becoming more and more popular in the foods that we eat every day, and people are becoming more and more aware of the health benefits. So we're here at the actual location, which is in the Student Center at Pacific Ballroom. Tony, can you tell us exactly what's going to be going on in here? So basically we planned a music benefit, um, which will include bands from the local community. We have one band, Pompous Monk, who actually go to UCI, so we're excited about that. We have a band called Army of Sun, who are a local high school band. We have a band called Fight Friendly, who is from LA. Um, just a lot of different variety, different types of music, um, so we're really excited about the band. So, remember March 3rd is the day to keep open. And what time will it be from? It'll be Wednesday, March 3rd, which is week 9, from 3 to 6.30. So, remember March 3rd, a Wednesday, at 3 to 6.30 p.m. This is Camille Mendez signing off for Anteater Television. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we hope that this premiere will be the start of many more episodes to come. If you have any questions or concerns, I invite you to email us at anteatertelevision at yahoo.com. If you want to access our club information or video archive, I also invite you to check out our website at www.clubs.uci.edu slash anteatertelevision or our YouTube page at www.youtube.com slash anteatertelevision. And finally, and most importantly, I ask that you join our Facebook group. The more members, the more student involvement, and of course the more student support. So please, join our Facebook group and invite your friends as well. Well, until next time, I'm Odala Suarez. Thank you again for tuning in and sending all anteaters thoughts of love and wishing you a wonderful day. Bye-bye.